Hi everybody, my name is Eric and this is our next installment in our series of tutorial videos to help you achieve your rendering and movie making goals. So today's topic, we will cover how to use virtual floor in your 3D images and movies. So we already have our beetle loaded. So let's go in 3D. And as usual, we want to adjust the window leveling and also apply a preset. In this case, we'll use the vegetal preset. We'll circle back to the window leveling and adjust the left and right boundaries of the window. We also want to uh, switch to map to window mode so that all the color ramp will be spread inside the window. We'll also add some specular effect to our beetle. And when we're satisfied with the color mapping, we're ready to enable the virtual floor. So let's find the virtual floor panel on the left side and expand the panel. So we click on the checkbox to enable the floor and we need to use the Z axis so that the floor will be uh, displayed underneath the beetle. As you can see, there's already some reflection on the floor, which we can control with the reflective surface slider in the virtual floor panel. So all the way to the right, the floor will have no reflective property at all, and all the way to, to the left, the floor will be very reflective. Now let's try to use the virtual floor in the movie that we will then export. So let's show the Movie Maker tool. In this case, we want to create a 360 rotation movie around our beetle. So first, let's adjust the initial position of the camera and of the light source. Then we update the first keyframe to apply the changes. We click on the rotation button and we select the axis of rotation. Here we'll keep it at 360 degrees. Our new rotation keyframe is added and we can move it along the timeline to modify the duration of the rotation. So here we'll have a complete revolution around our beetle in a 10 seconds clip. 